46 chief political correspondent Emma Whitrow continues our live team coverage tonight. And Emma, Biden's first cabinet nominee has been appointed, and it's pretty significant. Absolutely, Brian. The Biden administration has already made history by having the first female vice president. And as of last night, the Senate confirmed his pick for the first ever female director of national intelligence, and her name is Avril Haynes. Now, it's important to note this is not Haynes' first rodeo serving a leadership role in the intelligence community. She was actually previously the deputy national security advisor advisor under the Obama administration. Government expert Dr. Michael Bitzer told us this is exactly why Biden chose her. He picked her as the key expert that he has had a long relationship with. And I think for DNI in particular, that is a very close working relationship with the president. A handful of Republicans opposed Haynes' confirmation as DNI, but none of those representatives were from North Carolina. And North Carolina Senator Richard Burr, the previous chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, released a statement last night congratulating Avril Haynes on her historic appointment and said he was pleased with the bipartisan efforts to put her in to get her appointed quickly. Brian? Yeah, Emma, we know President Biden has hit the ground running here with more than two dozen executive orders in the first 24 hours on the job. But when will his cabinet be officially set? Right, Brian, he's not wasting any time, that's for sure. But I can't quite tell you a set date on when everyone in his cabinet will be officially appointed. What I can tell you, though, is Mayor Pete Buttigieg is getting vetted by the Senate as we speak for Transportation Secretary. So we might have some breaking news for you in the next couple hours if he is appointed. All right, we're well, looking forward to that. Emma Withrow, live in the newsroom tonight.